Hey, this is the planet Earth here. Today, Uh, straight Talk Wireless. Here we go. We're gonna do some speed tests on the Straight Talk Wireless network first. Let's go ahead and do some YouTube speed or YouTube speeds. Let's just see the planet Earth. This is on the Straight Talk network. Oh, how in in inconspicuous! We're gonna be using the Verizon network here. This is the Straight Talk network on a Verizon M N V N or whatever the hell it's called. So let's uh. Alright guys, Let's see if it'll even stream at 480p. Here. I saw Let's see if it does 480p. It does. Let's see about 720p. That'd be amazing. It does. For Verizon, actually. Okay, so it streams 720p content with no problem. Alright, so now. Let's go ahead and do some speed tests on the Straight Talk Network. This is not Verizon Wireless. I mean, this is not Verizon Wireless. Uh, this is a prepaid account, fifty-five dollars a month with a sixty gigabyte cap limit, where they threaten that they'll close your account out. But this account will not be used for sixty gigabytes. But for fifty-five dollars a month, I don't think that's bad. Okay, so here we go. One hundred four milliseconds. You can definitely tell this is not the Verizon standards. We are getting a hundred, hundred and thirty megabits on a prepaid service. But obviously the ping time is going to be higher because this is not an actual postpaid account. But because the speed tests are so fast here in uh, the state of New Jersey, everywhere you go, it's just like, boom, 100 megs, boom, 100 megs, boom, 100 megs. Every tower at least will get you 90, 100 megs around here. But this is really good for a prepaid provider. That's This is not bad for a prepaid provider. We're getting 100 extremely good speeds for uh, being a prepaid and you can definitely tell that they are not really capping the speeds um, after look at that 100 megabits per second obviously if it was says three o'clock in the morning I'd probably be getting the full 200 now it's not quite as fast wow look at that the full 30 megabit uh, upload speed in this area that's really good 121 down and um, 33 megabit upload speed with a ping of 83 milliseconds though uh, let's just see if uh, the radar scope will work let's just see if it does okay this is straight talk wild it's $55 a month remember it's not it's not unlimited 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 but it is all right okay here we go it does have 3G and 1X backup, by the way. I checked. It does have 3G and 1X backup. All right, so it looks like there's some showers in the New Jersey area. Looks like some thunderstorms and showers probably in the Washington area. Um, I really can't tell the difference on the loading other than the phone kind of lagging slightly because of um, the recording that's going on. Other than that, it seems to be working wonderfully. It loads, and it loads pretty fast. There is a slight latency issue, but that is because it is a prepaid provider. Uber works really well with it, and I'm surprised. Um, like I said, once I stop doing the speed test, this, this data is going to be barely be used, but it's unlimited data. Um, it looks like the speed test is working. They are giving you over 100 megabits on a prepaid plan that is impressive and this is not two o'clock in the morning because it'd be going at over 200 megabits per second i guarantee it on the iphone i was getting over 130 megabits per second looks like the upload speed is maxing out at 30 megs ping time is high but that is expected with a prepaid provider as uh straight talk wireless so let's go ahead and just dial them again Yes. I dollar plan with a 60 gigabyte limit. 
Um, if it's pretty much unlimited data, but um, some people are telling me they use more than 60 gigabytes and never had an issue, and then some have been suspended. So it just depends on how much data you use and how you use it. Obviously, this isn't a replacement for a postpaid account, and this is not a replacement for people who like to illegally tether, but uh, we're not. that's not going to be happening on this SIM card. So if you do get banned, just pay another $55, use a different... Um, phone and you can just pop the sim card literally in any phone you can even use a friend's imei activate it and then just switch out the sim cards and they'll never know you don't even have to put your first and last name you can just pay cash and you can just keep doing it if you get banned so it doesn't really matter um it doesn't really matter you can pop anybody's sim card in unless they blackmail your imei number i don't think that's going to happen but 120 megabits per second is impressive. Let's go ahead and do some. Let's just download a random. Uh, it's loading pretty fast here. I'm surprised. It's okay. Let's try a pretty large app. Let's see. Top charts, Fox, Instagram, and Snapchat. Let's go ahead and download Netflix um, using the prepaid service here. Let's see how fast it goes. 100, one, one. Oh my god, it downloaded already. I didn't even have time to count. So that is on the Straight Talk Wireless 4G LTE. By the way, in the Bring Your Own Device Kit, you can be on the AT&T network, the Sprint network, or the T-Mobile network and have unlimited data. So technically, you could use all four providers, Sprint, T-Mobile, AT&T, or Verizon, as long as you have a phone that goes with the network. Like if you have an AT&T phone, pop that SIM card in, you'll get the max speeds. Um, but it depends. Maybe the different carriers have different restrictions, but there's no more 5 megabit cap limit. This is amazing um, that for $55 a month, you get this many gigabytes, and you can even go over. I'm going to try going over with a prepaid in the future, see what happens to the account. But I've heard other people, they said they haven't had an issue with it. So let's just do another speed test here. Although the latency is a little bit higher... It just seems like it's a Verizon, uh, it's a Verizon, you know, prepaid. So they allow you 130 megabits, 120 to 130 megabits per second. It's obviously going to go faster at 2 o'clock in the morning when nobody else is on the tower, but the ping is kind of high. Other than that, though, I mean, really, how much faster do you need to get to connect certain apps? Obviously, with a postpaid account, like I said, it'll probably be better. So let me just go ahead and connect to... A VPN server. Let me just see if it works with this. Yep, it does. Now let's just do a speed test with the VPN server. Let's see what kind of speeds we get. I usually get 30 by Verizon and 20 by Verizon. So let's see what kind of VPN speeds we get. Oh, this is a very bad server. Okay, so they might limit your VPN usage to 6 megabits. That's still not terrible, but let me change the... Uh, let's go ahead and change the server. We'll go ahead and change them. Uh, let's just see if they're limiting the VPN speeds. We'll just try one that's kind of far away because usually they're a little bit less empty. Alright. Let's see here. Alright, well, let's just see what happens here. Let's just do a different type of speed test to see what they limit it to. Let's see what they limit the VPN services to. Alright, so it looks like they limit it a little. No, they don't limit it because this is average. So, um, 157 millisecond ping. And it looks like they limit the VPN to about 10 megabits per second. That is still really good for considering that this is a VPN. And the upload speed is pretty much capped at, looks like, 10 megs. It really doesn't know what it's doing right now, so... Okay, that's acceptable for a VPN, using a VPN on their network with a high latency, but you'll still be able to watch movies and stream, so... So, okay, so with the VPN activated, let's just see. Let's go to... Let's go to the planet Earth here. I think this will be a good buy for people who don't use so much data, but at the same time don't want a... Let's just see if it'll stream it, though, so... Alright, let's just see here. Alright, Shades of Death Road. Let's just see if it'll stream it, though. 
Alright, it does have, seems to have some lag and latency. That's fine, but let's just see if it will stream or not. Let's see what happens. Alright, so it seems to be working with 480p. Now let's see what happens when we try to do 1080p. Let's see if it'll work or not. Alright, it's going to load. Yep, it is loading at 1080p. 60 frames per second. It seems to be kind of lagging though. So it looks like you can play 1080p video fine with the VPN. It might lag. It looks like it wants to lag, but it's not quite lagging. Okay. It can play 1080p video. I doubt it'll play 1440p without at least 20 megabit download. No, it doesn't look like it's going to play it. Alright, so you still get 1080p, 60 frames per second. And it's really fast. Unbelievable. Alright, so it's not going to play 1440p, but it'll play 1080p video. But that just depends. Is it my VPN server or is it Straight Talk Wireless lagging the VPN service to a certain speed? Either way, still pretty fast. Hope you guys enjoy the video. We'll do one more speed test to a different server um, on the Straight Talk Wireless network. And then, uh, and then, uh, yeah, so, and then we're just going to do a speed test in New York City, see what happens. Well, let me turn the VPN off.